table than Bill 22, but first I want to start with only in British Columbia. Yerdo the Turtle has become such a political hotbed here, coming out of Prince Rupert. Can you believe that? Symptomatic of what's happening in our province under our BC Liberal government, that this has become a freedom of speech issue. And the quote that's too political for students, I know up on top you are seeing great sights, this is Mac the Turtle, but down here on the bottom we too should have a right. And you know, I was told today that there's been 1.2 million tweets since this has started happening on uh, this freedom of speech issue. Well, as of four days ago, currently in the legislature right now, we've got 21 bills from this BC Liberal government aimed at impacting public education system in the last 11 years. And the latest one is called Bill 36. And once again, done without any consultation with teachers or any other partner group. And the choice words of this legislation are flexibility and choice. And we know what flexibility and choice means. We know that what that means is less funding for public education, fewer services for students, and more inequity in the system. Now to Bill 22, the Learning Impairment Act. I mean the Learning Improvement Act. It's the most draconian anti-democratic legislation ever hoisted on teachers, on our students, on our public education system, and on our working people in this province. It's a serious interference in our right to full collective bargaining and our right to strike, and it potentially impacts every working person in this province. It makes working conditions, which are our students' learning conditions, worse by deleting the class size and composition limits that came out of Bill 33 way back in 2005 out of our strike then. It fails to return all our legally stripped language regarding class size, composition, staffing ratios. In fact, what this arrogant government has done, they have removed the illegal unconstitutional parts of Bills 27 and 28 and put it word for word back into Bill 22. It shows a contempt for the BC Supreme Court and Justice Griffin's decision.